Good evening. 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 President Board of Trustees of Bella Durrell, Cook County, Illinois, today is February 13, 2024. At this time, we'll play call the roll, please. Trustee Capp? Here. Trustee Hodges? Here. Trustee Garcia? Trustee Greer? Okay. Trustee Richardson? Here. Trustee Clay Preston? Here. And we have a quorum present. We'll be staffed for the Pledge of Allegiance. Trustee Allegiance. Trustee Hodges? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Are there any uh, approval or corrections of the minutes of the regular board meeting that was held on January 23rd, 20, uh, January 23rd, 2024? Any corrections of the minutes? Well, here now, I will ask for a motion to approve the minutes of January 23rd, 2024. I make a motion to approve the minutes for January 23rd, 2024. Motion approved by Trustee Claybrook. Can we have a second, please? Second. Second about Trustee Cap, but I'd take your own. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Staying. Trustee Clayton? Yes. Uh, Mayor Pope will be there. Okay, uh, the minutes approved. Uh, well, before we open the session to the uh, public, if you have anything to state to the board, uh, we need to hear from you. If you would just stand up and give your name and the reason for addressing the board. And, uh, and we'll take it from there. Is there any public comment? Okay. Come on, sir. Uh, I make a motion to open the meeting to the public. I have, I have a question. So wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I'll make the motion to yeah. open the meeting to the public. Okay. Can we have a second? I second the motion. Second by Trustee Hodges. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clayton? Yes. Okay. okay, sir. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to jump again. Uh, my name is Michael Nielsen, and I just had a question about something I saw about something called Central Square Unified. It's an automated system that improves uh, ambulance and fire response times. And it said that 40 South Suburban cities and towns have signed up for it. The state of Illinois sponsored it, and I didn't see Burnham's name listed. I was wondering if whoever that falls under has heard of it or, and whether we've considered joining that 40 city group. Uh, George, you, would you have any information on that or Steve? Mayor, I, I have not heard of that, but I will look into that for you, Mayor. All right. <laughs> What's the name of it? I, I think yeah. it's the name. Uh, Central Square Unified. Riverdale's in it, Cal City's in it. And it, you know, the you know, my it, faster ambulance response time is a good thing. So, okay. Mayor, it looks like this is something we'd have to discuss with dispatch, central dispatch. It looks like it's a computer aided system, and that would be dispatch as well. So, that'd be something like a group effort on that. And that would be from the Dalton effort, correct? correct. Yeah. yeah. And we just kind of did bar it from them. Yeah. So, yeah. so it'd be well. So it'd be a group in terms of just getting with our, our dispatch, and then it, it looks like it's just in terms of how they dispatch the calls and log everything. So, okay. Thank you. Any other public comments? Yes, my name's John Haidu, and I want to say recently we got a flyer about uh, lead pipe replacement, and the first words on there was, we would like your help. Uh, my first thought was um, the way you treat us residents when we come to these meetings, Mr. Polk, uh, now you ask us for help. Uh, unless things change and you guys start talking with us a little bit, um, I hope the residents treat you guys just like you treat us when we come here to these meetings. Uh, my second point real quick is Clerk Chavez, last meeting, it was only myself and Isabel here. You actually timed my three minute statement. That killed me. 
Nobody else was here. You timed me. Uh, I asked you during that meeting why none of the 10 ordinances for 2023 were on the website. And you since then, you have posted them, but what you did not do is there's a problem with that. Ordinance number three and ordinance number seven are still not posted. Now, either you don't want us to know what's going on in Burnham or you don't know exactly what you're doing on the, th I don't know. I don't know why, why they're not there. You're missing one of them in t from 2022 as well. Uh, I just thought I'd point that out as well. Um, I'd like to say that I wish you would put as much energy into the website as you do in time in the residence when they speak. Um, Mr. Attorney isn't here tonight. Uh, Mr. Polk, I guess I'm gonna have to ask you, um, are audits required by law to be performed by the village? And secondly, is it required by law to use a bid process for garbage collection? Because it wasn't, uh, wasn't, we don't know nothing about it. It wasn't on the agenda or anything. Last thing I want to say is uh, at the last meeting, I mentioned to you guys, among other things, about the speed bumps. We have four, we have nine of them that I know about on Old Burnham side. They're getting the crap beat out of them. Now, one of you said a word about them, and I told you guys at the time, and I'll tell you again, that none of you guys seem like you give, the, you give a damn about the old side, or for that matter, burn them. And it seems like you guys only care about power and money in this village. And Mr. Polk, I've been doing a lot of walking in Burnham, Green Bay, Chippewa, Mackinac. This was laying, I'm not touching you. This was laying next to one of the speed bumps on the street. Damn it, fix the damn speed bump before somebody or something gets hit. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. I'll take your seat, thank you. Does anybody else have anything to say? Any other comment? Are there any other public comment? Yes, sir. All right, I've been here for like eight years now. I live right across the street. My Can name you is Devin Wilder. Devin Marquez Wilder. I stay across the street. I've been for eight years. I think the mayor is doing pretty good for the city of Burnham. So that's all I have to say. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Are there any other public comments? I'll ask. Yes. Yeah, I have to. You say your name was Devin? Yeah. Yeah, my name is Josephine Ross. I agree piggyback on everything you said. I've been knowing the mayor almost 25 years and I've never seen him look this good. Yeah, Period. Crime, really everything is down in this, in this small building. You mean, so those who want to complain, they need to take a cup. West, there you go. Y'all, someplace else. Thank you, Ms. Ross. Thank you. We're going to miss you when you're gone. That's all I'm going to say. But I'm gonna, I probably won't be going no time soon. I don't know. good. <laughs> Unless the Lord calls. Okay, I'll add all the public comments. Amen. I'll ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public. I'll make a motion to close the meeting to the public. I'll make a motion to close the meeting to the public. I'll make a motion to close the meeting to the public. Can we have a second, please? Second. Can we call the roll? Trustee Capps? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. I'll motion to that. Thank you. So, um, in terms of us, uh, treating the people bad, I don't think we treat anyone bad. And, and only one person is complaining. Uh, we always respectful. We do things decent and in order. Um, you don't see a lot of ruckus running through Burnham that you might see in other places. And uh, I think we do know how to conduct ourselves. You know, I mean, we are professional people. And we are ordained to do that. And that's what we're going to do. So. You know, people can come up and make all kind of barks and, and ridicule whatever they want to do, but we're going to continue to do what we do. Mm -hmm. That is moving Burnham forward, and you've got my word on it. Now, the next thing, as far as the ordinance is posted or not posted, I'm not exactly sure what all of those things are, but I do believe and know that the clerk will work on it, and uh, she'll get that uh, get taken care of. Um, and uh, as far as the, uh, the traffic comments go, um, I represent the whole village of Burnham, and we put some of them down on a trial basis, and um, we didn't put them down everywhere. We didn't put down too many, but we didn't want them down during the snow removal for the plow to hit them, so I would not allow public work to take them up after we put them down. 
So some of them did get a little damage here and there. When you say you found your boat landing. Can I ask why you didn't pick them up though? The Lansing and Cal City do. You're not in Lansing, you're in Burnham. And I just handed you a damn spike because of it. Okay. I mean, and I don't complain to you. I'm only asking that we talk. That's I mean, all I've I ever know. asked. Hey, I want to make that okay. point. That's all I ever asked as we talk. Okay. All right. How about the audits? Right, let's move on. Um, Mr. Polk, how about the time, audits? We are here with Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Um, Good evening. The Village Hall will be closed um, to observe um, President's Day on Monday, Mar um, February 19th. And in to respond to uh, Mr. Hodges, those um, ordinances, they were skipped. They weren't used, so that's why they don't, they don't, they're not on the website. That's all I have to say. Okay, thank you. 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 Five were during the night, and we had 64 ambulance calls. 39 during the day, 25 during the night. Hey, Steve, you, uh, you just said that we had a, a, I mean, an increase in calls, and what that could do, um, give us a little spill as to why that is. Well, the increase in calls comes with. Uh, you know, technically, we're there when you need us, fire department. So, and we come to lift assist, getting out to your car to go to a doctor's appointment, getting home, we're there for you. Um, the uh, medical calls have gone up, fire calls have gone up. It's just getting busier, and uh, and that's where the increase comes, with the, just the increase in, in need from the residents. Do we, do we charge for those calls <coughs> with assist? Do we charge the residents when somebody so, comes out? Uh, per ordinance, uh, anytime the ambulance does not respond and only the fire department, after five times a year, we can charge through a, a billing process through central billing solutions. Thank you, because I know a lot of people abuse the privileges of having you guys come by all the time. I think I picked that up. All right, thank you. Uh, Trustee Richardson, Stephen, um, the Public Works and Building, Trustee Claypool. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Public Works has been out of uh, grading the alleys, uh, filling potholes. Uh, we graded Carlson Avenue um, from uh, all the way down. Uh, also, been doing just basic general cleaning throughout the village. Also, with the uh, spike that hold down the speed bumps, we did, uh, one of the residents did inform us about that. We probably missed a few, but we have been out uh, repairing. Mm -hmm. That's all I have. I have a question, um, two items. On that block at Green Bay between 141st and 142nd, there's a couple real bad potholes I noticed today. When they between 141st and 142nd. I think I hit them today. That's why I noticed them. <laughs> have we been filling any of those yet this year? Or no? well, we'll have a solution to that, but uh, I probably would have bounced it in March. We might have to put some cold patch in there for now because there's some bad ones there. Don't we have that or we pick that up? No, we have to pick it up. And then the second item is when we when they tore down the wire mill, I talked to the mayor about the street, how bad Burnham Avenue was with the mud. Did that company clean it? Yeah. Because I went by and, and swept the street in front of my house and I got like a five gallon bucket of dirt just in front of my house along the curb. So they didn't clean all the way to the curb then. Well, they weren't traveling to your house. I thought they were going. No, there was the tons, no, there was tons of mud in front of my house. And I swept what somebody might have cleaned some, but they stayed like maybe two feet from the curb or a foot and a half from the curb. Is that still dirty right now? Uh, not you by me, out? since I swept mine, but if you look okay. at all my neighbors on my block, you'll see a lot of dirt against the gutter. But they must not have had a street sweeper like we do with a brush. Would you check them uh, yeah, check, so we can have check around like Rosie's or... Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Mine is good because mine was personally hand swept. <laughs> but I got like a whole five gallon bucket of that mud and rock out of in yeah. front of my house. So, see, Clay Brooks, I'm, I'm gonna give you a number. You need to call, uh, I'm gonna add that out to squeeze the bread, the too much bread, okay. as well as Brian Matthews. They so, were out, I got the job, uh, yeah. I think it was Friday. But there was a lot of trash on the Chicago side on the Torrance Bridge coming south. Okay. Yeah. I think the I big hot, hot holes are closer in front of Lipinski's house, maybe. Kind of like towards the second half of the block. Yeah. There's a couple big ones, though. Green Bay. Yeah. You know what block, right? You can all right, thank you. Okay, uh, ordinance resolutions and planning, Trustee Garcia, you know, uh, Trustee Garcia, you want to explain? I think it's me and Kevin. Oh, you're taking in Trustee Clayton? He doesn't know. I'm afraid I would butcher that one. I know it's being said. Yeah, I'm going to do um, this <clears throat> discussion of, consideration of, and taking action to approve or not approve a new business of an African food restaurant named Amela Sara LLC located at 2464 East State Street, Burnham, Illinois 60633. Um, would you like to stand up and tell us, uh, introduce the business to us? Good evening, sirs. Good evening. Good evening, boss. My names are Omonofwa Ugedebe. I'm the owner of the Amalasera LLC. <laughs> I wish to open an African restaurant and American food on 2664 East State Street. Uh, and you say this is gonna be a, uh, do you sell soul food restaurant? Yeah. American food, you said. Food restaurant. Okay. African, African, food restaurant. Okay. African American food restaurant. Okay. African American. With some American food. Like, I want to introduce uh, Jollof Pasta with a meal. Okay. You'll do the rice? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to give Jollof rice. <laughs> How do you how do you properly pronounce the name of the uh, of your business? Amalasera. Amalasera. Yeah. Amalasera. Yeah. Amala yeah. Amala yeah. I'm not I'm not I've not been satisfied, so I've not done anything or searched. I'm waiting for the outcome of the committee before going ahead. Was it a was it a restaurant in the past? The location. Did they serve food before at that spot? Or do you know, Mayor? That was, that was part of Wheels, wasn't it? Was there are a lot of African American food. Oh, was it set up? Did they have a kitchen? Was it set up like a. Uh, what does the location already? look like? Did they have a kitchen and everything in there already? Or you have to do all that? I have to do all that. And it was a daycare center last, right? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The inspectors come out then, right? Yeah. 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 Safety inspector. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now we don't, um, you know, we don't try to tell people how to conduct their business, but it is kind of advisable, and they don't necessarily, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, put up too much money until all the processes are taken care of. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, people get trapped up in that, and they come over here looking for. Uh, the licensee or whatever yeah. permits, and if we have to go through a process, and they blame it, then they blame the village instead of the person that gave the money. So it's quite important to get out there. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I make a motion to approve the new business of an African food restaurant named Amala Sarah LLC. Located at 2464 East State Street, Burnham, Illinois, 60633. Okay, that was a motion approved by Trustee Claybrook to approve this business. Could we have a second, please? Second. Second by Trustee Richardson. Will the clerk take the roll? Trustee Cass? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. 
Uh, motion passes approved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. uh, finance, Trustee Cap. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Discussion of consideration of and taking action on authorizing the payment of this month's bills. I'd like to make a motion to uh, approve the payment of this month's bills. The motion approved by Trustee Cap to approve the bill for this month. Do we have a second, please? I second it. Second by Trustee Cap. Yeah. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claver? Yes. Motion passed. Is that it, Trustee Cap? Thank you. How are you close, Trustee Richardson? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I'm on the Veterans Committee, and uh, we're in progress of of raising money to build a memorial on the corner of 138th and uh, Torrance on the uh, oh, 140th and Torrance and it's on the southwest that northwest corner northwest so uh, we're doing a fundraiser where you can purchase a brick to help us with this uh, fundraiser so uh, the bricks are going for a hundred dollars for a worthy cause, for a worthy cause, and you can have your name or a loved one's name printed on the brick, and uh, you know if they were a police officer, or fireman, we have emblems that they can put on the brick, or if they were a military person, we can put their branch of service. So we have some <coughs> templates up here for anyone that might be interested in helping us with this. That after the meeting, feel free to come up and grab and take a look. Yes, sir. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll see if you're alive, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you said they're alive. Yeah. They, don't, they don't have to be gone. We're going to be able to meet your brick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Trustee Richardson. Park and Recreation, Trustee Hodges. Well, good evening. Good evening. Um, uh, so Thursday, February 23rd, 6 to 8, Forest Preserve meeting at the Community Center. They want to work with us over the old golf, cor golf course off of Burnham. They're thinking about remodeling that and turning that into something that can actually help the old village. But they want you guys to pay it. So I'm really pushing for everybody to come out to that meeting and talk to the Forest Preserve to see what you what kind of ideas you have. So they what they want they want if you have idea for uh, uh, a park type of situation <coughs> for the kids, let them know. If you have an idea for a trailway, please come out and let them know what you feel about. It. Or if you like to keep the golf course, come out and let you let your opinion be known because um, it's really important because we try to have a meeting about it. And we didn't get a lot of people to come out the first time, but I really want people to come out this time to let them know. So that way, when they start building over there, we'll know what's going on. I think it's our responsibility to let them know our opinions about this, all right? So please come out February 23rd from 6 to 8. Or, I'm sorry, the 22nd, this Thursday. Also, if you can't make the meeting, if you want your voice to be heard, let me know. I'll give you my number, you give me a call. Let me know what you think. I can let, let them know what you feel, all right? Because they'll be there. And um, if you got some, because the chief has something you want to add. Real quick, real quick. Ooh, Where and when? It's the Community <coughs> Center. On February 22nd, Thursday. So not this Thursday, but next Thursday. What's the difference between a kid's park and a trailway? Well, the trailway is where we make make where you can walk around. And now, uh, kids' park is where you can break, have swings and different things like a little bridge. Can it be on. a combination of both? That's that's why that'd be great to come to the meeting and then talk to them about that. <laughs> that's what that's what that's why it's so important for it to be at the meeting because you can actually break down your opinion about that. They may just put just a trailway there, but if you're there, let them know you want a kids' park and you want to think you think the trailway be around the kids' park. That's a great opinion to have, but I want you to be at the meeting. But if you can't be there, I'll let them know what you said. From okay. Queen Guy. Oh, thank you, Trustee Hodge, for that information. Oh, also, they're doing a walk this way at the senior, uh, at the Sandwich Community Center, uh, Monday through Friday, is 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. So you want to walk in, it's free. Go walk at the uh, fitness center. It's walking. All right, Jim. Just stay in shape. 708 868 2530. That's the number to call. I want to let y'all know that, too. Is it Monday through Friday? What's up? It's Monday through Friday at Sandridge, the Sandridge Gym over there, right off of Torrance. 
from 9 o'clock to 11, to 11 a.m. You can just go there and walk. It's free at the gym. Um, it's from, I'll give you the number, though. You give them a call for you go up there. 708-868-2530. Okay? And again, as usual, if you want the number up to the person over the senior, the senior stuff at the community at the gym, I give you Ashley number and she and she's more than welcome to talk. She's more than happy to talk to you about what's going on at Sandwich. Well, thank you, Trustee Hodges. I'm really kind of glad that you brought up about the uh, about the golf course because uh, a gentleman said to me one day last week that I was trying to close. I mean, the Burnham Golf Course. But first of all, Burnham Golf Course is not under the jurisdiction of the Village of Burnham, but we have nothing to do with it, and that is Cook County. Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is, between the golf course in Calumet City and the one in the Village of Burnham, one of them is going to be closed. And the question is, which one? And that's what that's what the meeting is about. So, one of the bears. So and if we have, come. yeah, but we have, but because that's the same meeting, they want to get our opinions about if they did close, what you want the attorney to do. Right. Right. Yeah. So, different people got different opinions and input, so you need to come to the meeting. It'll be the 22nd of February. It'll be at the community center. It'll start at 6 o'clock, and it will end when you go home. If you're there at 10 o'clock, then you'll be there at 10 o'clock. <laughs> Trustee Jim, the, the uh, Sandridge Center, the gym is back open. Yeah, yeah, they worked on John. Um, well, let me let me call him again. He said the last time I talked to him, he said it was open and ready to go. Yeah, but um, I'm still checking in with him still to make sure it's good. There are two big companies that manage the majority of golf courses in the United States, and they're both fighting over taking over Burnham because I've been in touch with both of them. <coughs> so the, it was so profitable last year that the two big companies that manage golf courses, they want it. They both want Burnham. Woods is their court. So Why? They, because they're making so much money. It's so profitable right now. So I think golf is up. And I know that I know, I've met the two individuals that are they're both trying to get the contract because I think the contract was up at the end of the year. So I guess they need to be at the meeting too then. Yeah. I bet mm -hmm. they will be. <laughs> they were at the last one. Yeah, so if you guys wanna if you guys want that to be something, come out to me. Let your friends know do it. <laughs> And the last thing I'm gonna say about the golf course, and we're gonna move on. So, for well, me trying to close it, right? I'm trying to close it. I mean, we put it in two newsletters. You know, we introduced the idea, but we were trying to close it. Out, that I don't think we would have made it public. Well, I certainly wouldn't have. But with that being said, it's gonna be another thing. Um, the last thing under uh, the end of presentation of the petition, communication memorial, is that my huh? Yeah. No. Um, but this is Black History Month, and uh, I just wanted to, to mention uh, George Matthews. Everybody know who George Matthews is. George Matthews was uh, actually from the city of Detroit, Michigan. The journey began there. And to his three brothers, he was raised by a single mother in the Herman Garden Housing Project. And he's the type of person that's inspirational to try to instill in the young men and young girls that they can do something with themselves. He always uh, speaks uh, uh, in a positive way. They should uh, follow him. If not in his steps, at least somebody that's doing something similar to what he did and just uh, do positive things and stay out of trouble. Because so we got enough people that's getting in trouble anyway, so we don't need that. So with that being said, it's a thumbs up. And for George Matthews, thank you. Okay, so memorials, um, Trustee Clay Brooks and I attended a, a funeral for Ms. Uh, Ms. Wilson on a Saturday, and I showed her pictures of some people, and they had so many different ages. Somebody said she was 76, somebody said she looked like she was 80, somebody else said 90. She was 103. Yeah, I mean, 103 years old. She would have been 104 <coughs> in April. Yeah, so she was rich with glass, so. Yeah, she was. So we're afraid we can get there, right? So. Was she living at home by herself? That too? time was time time. No, yeah, take her. Time 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 time. Home. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so we don't have any rest of the month. So at this time, if, uh, if Mr. George Daphne come up, please. <laughs> Oh, 
Or you can come up with them if you want. But you yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, this is um, uh, a certificate of appreciation. And George did a lot of diligent work uh, to the community center. And we had to um, we had to jump through some hoops in order to make the community center accessible and, and efficient. Or should I say sufficient? I mean, for FEMA. So once we um, George was there doing work and revising the bathroom, and doing all other kind of stuff. So we really appreciated that. Otherwise, I mean, we would not have qualified. So and they stayed here about a month and a half. So that meant at that time the Burnham uh, Community Center was actually a government of federal unit. It was a federal unit. So at that, I mean, at that time, then they had taken the control from other. We had assigned it to them. So we were very glad to do that. They helped a lot of people. And uh, at a later time, I will, I will tell you how much money that the Burnham residents was given. So I put that in written communication. So at this time, again, we'd just like to present this to George so in recognition of your efforts at the Burnham Community Center in support of the R that 47, 49, Illinois. I mean, your workmanship made it possible to assist Cook County citizens affected by the flood of September the 17th and 18th. So, again, congratulations. Good evening again, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, the mayor doesn't know this, but because of these historic floods on the 17th and 18th, immediately Mayor Polk, village clerk, and the entire board went into action. How can we help the residents? Immediately. What can we do? So FEMA came in, as you know about George, a lot of work was put in by a lot of people to accomplish what we accomplished. And because of those efforts, FEMA wanted to recognize Mayor Polk with a recognition, and this is straight from the Federal Coordinating Officer of FEMA and the State Coordinating Officer of IEMA. And this is a certificate of appreciation has been awarded by FEMA to Robert Polk, Mayor of Village of Burnham, in recognition of your support for the DR 4749 Illinois and the mission to provide assistance to the citizens of Illinois and Burnham affected by the historic flooding in Cook County. Oh, well, thank you very much. He may not have a job tomorrow because I didn't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for the effort. And the main thing, we was glad that we were able to help the residents of Burnham. And like I said, uh, I will let you know what that figure was later. But it was uh, a decent amount of money that the residents of Burnham did receive. And it was unfortunate that we had the flood. We really I mean, would prefer not to have the flood. But of course, the flood was an act of God. It was an act of God. And it rained all day, I mean, all day, all day. And the system is just not, is not capable of taking that much water. And water stayed in some areas uh, probably like, I mean, 24 hours, at least on my block. So, so there was nothing we could do about it. It could not be helped. So he thought we had to deal with it. Okay, under that a new business. There's no new business. I'll ask for a motion to adjourn the meeting. A motion to adjourn the meeting. There's a motion by Trustee Harvest. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Trustee Richard and Clerk at the room. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Piper? Yes. A meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned.